Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Rule the Waves. We left off last time in the middle of a tactical battle against our Russian foes. If I remember correctly, this was the first battle of this war. It was just a, a it was, I think it was fleets stumbling upon each other actually. So we're, we're doing pretty good actually. We got a, a Russian battleship. It wasn't one of the more impressive ones. It was one of the slightly less impressive ones. Uh, Pretty much dead to rights. Um, let's see if we look at it. I'm pretty sure it's dead. It's uh, it's barely moving, five knots. It's heavily damaged and it's on fire. Honestly, we could probably leave this ship for uh, for dead. And the Strader are. I'm gonna call this. Uh, I'm gonna call the Strader a pocket battleship. It is a, a mammoth ship. Um, in, in in terms of current ship design this thing is impressive eight 10 inch guns 12 9 inch guns and 24 3 inch guns this thing could operate by itself pretty much anywhere in the world and do a good job which is what i love about this thing is it can fit many roles if need be i can send it out as a commerce raider because any destroyers or light cruisers or anything like that it would come across it could wreck with its tertiary um armament it would um pretty much deal with anything um in the mid-range with its primary and secondary armament and it's even strong and like like it's it, its guns are smaller than a battleships i'm just i'm just like gushing over the ship because I love it so much. Its its guns are smaller than a battleship's, but it's got 20 of them between the 9s and the uh the 10s. You can it, it can get in and just start pummeling enemy ships. Just pummel them. I'm actually going to leave this ship um now and start heading south with the rest of these guys just because I don't want cuz these guys are going to turn around. I, I I think it's this thing's this thing's dead to rights. Um it, it's it's just getting pummeled. None of its guns are firing anymore. I've, I I actually just played a few minutes off screen and just circled it and just kept pummeling it. And I'm I'm hoping one of these destroyers will come in and torpedo it. I did get the Sergei uh, to to fire one uh, one torpedo, but it missed. And so what we're gonna do now is just focus on the Strader and see if we can get it to damage these heavy cruisers. Uh, let's turn to the northeast here and see if we can't I do apologize if I'm playing a little too fast for for some people's tastes I I'm just used to playing by myself the straighters hitting the superstructure not a big deal oh, you know what I should do is turn this on. I actually like having this Click on the straighter here so I can see where its guns are pointing straight oh fuck Heavy hit hit in the engine room, which means it's going to slow down. What do we got here? Medium damage on this one. Light damage on this one. I doubt these destroyers have been hit. Actually, that one's gotten wrecked pretty good. The Strader's starting to get some hits in. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that I can get that this thing sunk. Oh, he launched a torpedo. Let's put this on sl like very slow. Real oh here's real time. <laughs> I've never actually played on real time before. For a damn good reason. Slower works. Did launch a torpedo at this thing. And it paused because this guy took a hit. I can't even see it because of the smoke. Yep. Hit it with the torpedo. Two torpedoes. Oh, you know what? Uh, there must have been two just clipped over each other there. That's fine. So we, we could pretty much call this ship dead. It w it's heavily damaged, on fire. It just got hit with two torpedoes. Actually really getting in here with the straighter. Let's, get, let's give the straighter a uh, slower. Slow works. I like slow. This one's on fire. You have to pay attention. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but the um, the smoke, not only the smoke from the um, the stacks, but the smokes from fires and stuff like that, or smoke screens if the ships have them. Um, uh, let me just close down that. Uh, will will obscure your fire. So like right now, 
Uh, the straighter is... Um, the smoke, the wind's going this way, so the smoke's being blown away from its guns, so it has a very clear line of fire from its guns to the enemy ships right now, with the exception of the one that's in flames. Destroyer V1, which is the, the, the namesake of these guys, did a very good job. They're even still firing at it. I wish I could tell these guys to, uh, to bugger off, but they look like they're making a torpedo run, actually. I was hoping they would. I mean, if I could, if I could damage another, uh, yeah, we're starting to get some good hits in on over here. Damage another Russian battleship heavily, straight or near miss. All right. If they're, I mean, if they really want to have another go, I'll come back up here and I'll give them another go because I know these ones have been hit already. Light damage, ten knots. Light damage, fifteen knots. They're going very slow. I don't know if they're going slow for a reason. Or they just want to uh, have a better gun platform, because even though it's clear and there's barely any wind, um, the slower you go, the more accurate your guns are going to be, but it's also going to be the easier it is to hit you. Straighter's really hitting this guy. Two hits from its 10-inch guns. I forget that this this, stra this straighter is the one with the, the cross-deck fire, you, it, and it's weird. You can't really see what's going on here. Oh, here you can see. Okay, so um, you can see this is a 10-inch gun, or 10-inch turret, this is a 10-inch turret, and this is a 10-inch turret, and it's got cross-deck fire, so he could fire from this side across. So a lot of guns, I, I managed to bring a lot of guns to bear against these guys, and I'm interested in taking out the heavy cruisers, because the Russians have been using these guys for convoy raiding. Oh yeah, he is... He is just laying on the fire here. More 10 inch hits. And this this guy doesn't have the armor. Five and a half inch belt. Two inches on the deck. And I mean, we're... How far away are we? I can't tell from here. Hang on. I mean, 8,400 yards. I mean, it's not going... The, the, the fire's not really going to be plunging at this, at this uh, range. Still... Still firing on this thing's... Oh, nope, it sank. I was about to say, are we still firing on that thing's poor carcass? Alright, so let's... So these guys are coming to help out their uh, beleaguered cruiser squadron, which is just getting pummeled. See, all of these hits. And there we go. Actually, uh, Sergei just hit this ship right here. This is the one I wanted to take out, because this is their newest one, I believe. And we already destroyed... <laughs> God damn it. This one doesn't have any um, guns left. Well, the primary... This one's destroyed, and it's not coming back into action. This one's damaged. It could. So, yeah, let's just keep, uh, keep firing at them. Is this on fire? Heavy damage. Heavy, if, if someone's heavy damaged, there is a good chance they are not going to survive the trip back home. For you, too. I mean, you could, there, uh, what I was really worried about with the straighter, oh, yeah, I, I think I clicked yes on, yes on that. That was a mistake there. With the straighter, when he took the torpedo hit before, I was very, very nervous that the straighter was not going to make it home. But he did. Uh, I got lucky on that. God damn it. I don't, most of, I think most of the Russian guns, the primary caliber weapons, are out of commission. Except for these two 12 inches. I mean, those could easily... Those could get me a... I was going to say, that destroyer looks big. It's probably just because uh, I was zoomed in so much. Um, easily get me a critical hit. Oh! See, look at there. The Strader just took another crit. Strader is just a crit, like, absorbing machine. So, uh, let's see. We got three... So, probably a six-inch gun. Um... Penetrated, uh, and enter and the salt water enters the feed tanks. Machinery disabled. Uh, so we are probably. What is our max speed? Is it gonna say? There's a. I mean, I got this thing's got 11 inch belt armor, so we must have hit somewhere um, that wasn't covered by the belt. Yeah, cut the speed basically in half. This thing's on fire and heavily damaged, so I want them to focus to the south now. 
I mean, he's going to he's, he's going to need to uh, head back home at some point. I still have to worry about, you know, their destroyers getting torpedoes hits, but, I mean, they are, uh, yes, send, you get bonus points, I don't, I think I mentioned that once, you get bonus points if you send ships to pick up, uh, survivors, heavily damaged, medium damage, so, so, uh, Strader doesn't have, he's not in danger of going down, but he's not going to be able to make, uh, a good speed for the rest of this battle, I don't think. Oh, and I hope you guys don't mind me pumping in uh, Hearts of Iron 3 music. I didn't think anybody would mind. So, this is a... This is going to be... Un unless something... I mean, uh, unless there is a flash fire in one of our turrets or something like that. And Sergei is taking a couple hits here. Uh, unless there's a flash fire and something drastic happens, this is going to be a major victory for the Kriegsmarine. Yeah, poor Strader. Yeah. So, um, what he's gonna do is head up this way, because these guys are probably gonna get away. Yeah, they're outpacing him, so... Foc you know what you should do? Focus fire back on... Okay, yeah. On this one. We'll make sure this heavy cruiser goes down. And then we'll probably retire from the battle. I mean, this has been going for 350 minutes, so this has been going for hours and hours and hours. And I hope you are focus firing on, yes, the battleships. Not getting any hits. This guy's pulling off, it looks like. I, that doesn't look like a damaged rudder to me. Target straddled one hit with a 10 inch gun. Destroyer hit. Oh, that's that guy over here. He's dead in the water, it looks like. Well, almost dead in the water. Strader does not have any torpedoes, I believe. Uh, let's see. Main turrets. No, he. I did not put any torpedoes on this. Torpedoes are good for a coup de gras. Yeah, they are just pummeling the the Russian battleships. I, I, I mean, even my old ones are slightly better than theirs because sheer sheer armor and and, and just weight. They just we just outdo them. Ugh. Lower belt edge hit. Sergei hit in the uh, engine room hit. So, are we slowing down? Uh, yeah. So, straighter is... Straighter, don't do anything stupid. Let's just put this on play now. And speed it back up. Oof. Straighter's really hitting that guy. This is a... a, a I mean, I was going to be completely content destroying one Russian battleship, or even just heavily damaging their cruisers, which they were going to use as raiders. Um, but this, this, this is going to be the major... Uh, Brandenburg's almost out of ammo. Yeah, that's definitely something to... Uh, yes, dispatch... Uh, 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 destroyer for survivors. Sergei's almost out of ammo. Sunk ships all over the place. Alright, let's... Turn upwards, try to close the distance. 10 knots, heavily damaged, so we are gaining on him. Let's just put this on play. Oh, Sergei took a hit. Splinter damaged the hull. So I gotta pause every time. Where's the preferences? Preferences. Uh, pause on hit for capital ships. Uh, do not pause on hit. Okay, there we go. Let's put, put that up there. Play. Oh, night fell. Damn. All right, so it's time. I think it's time to retire, unless we can, we can get up. Yeah, well, we could see him. Sergey hit. The turret disabled. So my uh, my front turret there. You have a lot of turrets though, bud. Come on. Where's your second? Your secondary batter sh battery should be wrecking him. I don't want to get too close on his broadside here, or he he could torpedo me. There we 
go. Sergey hitting the hull. Man, we are... Po this is like... By ship standards, point blank range. They're 1,700 yards apart. Three hits. Although, see, now we're just hitting them with our tertiary guns. Those aren't going to do any damage. Four-inch gun. Four-inch gun. Sergey hit in the engine room again. See, the 10-inch hits are the ones that are going to do some damage. Whoa! We actually managed to launch a torpedo. Ah, he saw it. That's the thing about... I... I you, you could ask my friend, my friend Roach, um, who, who makes appearances on the channel every once in a while. I hate torpedoes in this game. I, I hate having to rely on torpedoes in this game. There's a lot of the, uh, the, the nations with smaller navies, you have to kind of rely on torpedoes sometimes. Uh, between, you know, whether it be U-boats or, uh, you know, you know, fast, uh, like cruisers or big destroyers or something like that. Um... You don't get to see torpedoes. You don't get to see them. You don't know where they are. They're, they're, they're ne they won't ever be spotted. You just have to rely on the fact that, you know, that ship looked like it was making a torpedo run. All right, yeah, we're just going to try to slaughter this guy. Ooh, I don't know if I ship. Maybe a heavy cruiser. A Sergei hitting the engine room again. Uh, so, yeah, like I was saying, they're not, they're never, they're never going to be spotted by your you, enemy torpedoes are never going to be spotted and show up on the screen. You just have to hope, based on your own experience, that you know that ship looks like it's making a torpedo run, and I should do something about it. And there's no on rear admiral mode like this. There's no way. Like I, I'm assuming my destroyer is going to make a torpedo run. He did not. Um, uh, there's no way to manually fire torpedoes. You just have to like set these guys up. And hope they do their job. Uh, Strader's getting in on this. Sergey, near miss. Come on. He's not even slow. I mean, he slowed down a little bit. Oh, he's on fire now. All right, we we just need to finish this guy off. Come on. You can't manual fire torpedoes. You can't see enemy torpedoes. The enemies basically have intimate knowledge of your torpedoes. You could see as soon as that thing fired. Even in, you know, moderate breeze at, you know, in the, in the falling dusk, he saw it and turned. Oh, we launched two this time. Ah, they both missed. Uh, Pre-Dreadnoughts, a torpedo hit is almost guaranteed a, a kill. Part of the reason I put on um, Sergei is out of ammo. Uh, I just heard a torpedo launch. Here we go. I, I specifically told him to focus on torpedo technology and light ship like combat ability or combat strategy, tactical uh, you know abilities, because that gets them to use their torpedoes more often. All right, he doesn't look like he sees these. That one looks like it's good. Missed. Balls. Shame. Missed. Oh, here we go again. I don't know. Brandenburg's out of ammo. Missed. So how, this guy's dodged the hell out of these torpedoes. Now he's dead in the water. I'm just... I'm sitting here praying for my destroyers. Just finish him off. Just finish him off. Just finish him off. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's not even moving. There we go. Now he's hit with a torpedo. Heavily damaged. On fire. One torpedo hit. It's time to retreat. So let's put this on play. Oh, hit him again. Well, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, three torpedo hits. Oh, God. Yeah, he's going down for sure. Let's uh, speed this up. Uh, we're out of ammo. He's dead in the water. Three torpedo hull, uh, holes in his hull. We're leaving. Oh boy, that was a hell of a battle. Time to retreat. We ran out of ammo. That lasted so long. That was a, st a stunning victory. I mean, our, our, our Navy isn't great, but it's better than the Russians. 
Yes, everybody go back to port. Sergey has run aground while entering port in the darkness. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Didn't even know it was a thing. So hopefully, he might be out for a month or two because of that. Alright, and that's the last one. It's probably Damage Destroyer. Alright, that's it. Okay, so... We uh, we lost two destroyers. Um, heavily, uh, no, 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 that's nothing in there. That was, that was heavy damage to two destroyers, medium damage to probably the Sergei was that battleship and a destroyer. Light damage to two battleships and uh, the Strader, which is technically a heavy cruiser if you remember. Bonus uh, for four surviving mer merchants. They failed to sink on uh, two ships. So, sunk two battleships, one heavy cruiser, three destroyers, medium damage to another destroyer, light damage to another battleship, and a heavy cruiser. So, points for damaging enemy ships, 71,000, 8,600. So, that is a absolute... Let's actually save this. Uh, no, I don't want to exit the game. I just wanted to save it. That was a stunning victory. Look at that. Look at the discrepancy in, in victory points for that. Uh, yes. Yes. Wow. We have more ships in the uh, Caribbean than our bases can support. We have more ships in the Caribbean. We have one in there. We have one heavy cruiser over there. Okay, well, um... The bases in the Caribbean can't support this heavy cruiser. So we're gonna need to move him. Move ship. Um... Or, or with Russia... And do we... Northeast Asia, I guess? Do we have anybody there right now? We got... Yeah, we do. So I guess he's just coming home. And probably replace him with a light cruiser over there, maybe. We have a... I can't remember. Do we have... Do we steal something over there? No, why do we have... We don't need some anybody over there. Okay, so screw that. Um, you. You don't need to go to the Caribbean. Move ship to, uh, like, the Indian Ocean. Okay, because we, we do have... We do have stuff over there to take care of. Close to mastering Q ships. Submarines sink two ships. Russian submarines sink two ships, and we sunk one of their subs. One battleship... Two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers. This is off the coast of the Netherlands here. Another battle. What do we got? Oh, three destroy three old destroyers, and that's it. It's gonna be a super boring, super boring battle. Unless we can get in there and get some torpedoes off. Let's see what is this? A light cruiser. I'm hoping we'll, we'll actually get to launch some torpedoes here. Oh, this guy just got wrecked. Torpedo explodes. Well, part of me was hoping we were actually going to uh, get a torpedo hit on that guy. Oh, that's the V1. He's dead in the water. It's just the Diana here. Diana class, that is. Tor he got hit in one of the torpedo tubes and the torpedo fucking exploded on him. I mean, hitting a light cruiser bouncing around like this it would be nearly impossible. I mean, we're way well within range, but... Yeah, these guys are getting wrecked by... Oh, now this one's sinking. Uh, oh, he went down real fast. Alright, so let's uh, let's just tell these guys to retire. They're not going to do anything. Oh, and well, he's uh, pretty much out of it. We're going to lose this. We're probably going to lose all three destroyers. I was hoping for a torpedo attack, but it didn't materialize. This is what I'm talking about. Prime torpedo, you know, like... Firing ability, but... You just can't make them do it. It's really hard. There's there's not really any way of knowing exactly what conditions need to be met or 
what conditions you don't meet at the time. Like if you're going too fast, if the waves are too rough. Alright, so yeah. Well, they wrecked my uh my destroyers there, but I, I'm I'm really not that concerned about it. Um it barely means anything. We could probably stand to design some new destroyers. Why don't we do that real quick? Because we can get destroyers that are a good deal bigger. Uh, yeah, 900 tons. 31 knots. Build these things for speed. Um, can we put mines on them yet? I don't think so. No. I was really hoping we could. Alright, so it's got four, three four-inch guns. This is, is this going to throw an arrow on the center line? No, it doesn't. Okay. Center line swivel mount. That's good. 31 knots. That is fast. Actually get them fast. We can actually make them a good deal faster, too. 33 knots. God damn it, that's fast. That actually leaves more room for more stuff in it, too. Can we make the other... Um... Can add in some tertiary guns? Or, yeah, we can probably add in a couple, like, three-inch guns. No. Um, a couple two-inch guns. Or what about another, another torpedo mount? Too many centerline guns? Yeah, okay. So, we're going to have to remove that. Delete mount. Putting everything on the center line is is a very modern concept. I don't I don't think it'll let me armor a destroyer. No, nope, destroyers cannot be armored. I can put on these a, a couple two inch guns. Well, can I can I get them up to three or no? Hundred and fifteen rounds, and then two, three. Okay, well, it'll actually show that there. Okay, ammo's on the low side. Not a big deal. Uh, yes. Let's let's keep these guys around. Uh, destroyers. I don't think I'm gonna I'll bother naming after people because they're a dime a dozen. All right, and yes, let's build this. Let's lay down like six of them. And that's gonna that's gonna really outstrip this, but we're gonna finish two of these right now. Sounded us out for negotiated peace with us gaining disputed border areas and some of their colonies. God damn it, Russia. Put up more of a fight. If we crush them completely, a few more months will do. Okay. We lost two submarines. Alright, what do we got to work with here? A light crew, one, well, this is a new light, well, it's an updated light cruiser is what it is. But, you know what we need to do, um, is, is end this episode right here. Uh, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is, because some of these battles can be, you know, like, nothing can happen or they can get real boring. I'm gonna play this off screen for a few minutes, see what happens. If it turns into something interesting, I'll record it, if not... We'll pick it up tomorrow after this battle. So thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to uh, drop those likes. Leave some comments right down below for me to read. And I'll see all of you guys next time.